Cloud gaming is supposed to be the future of gaming, but because the technology is something that is perceived to be new, many people are weary to test it out with good reason. A lot of people don't need cloud gaming to enjoy the games they want to play, not to mention that cloud gaming also requires a lot of data in the states, and a lot of internet providers have a cap on how much you can use a month, having to pay extra for unlimited if they offer it. This video isn't a case for or against cloud gaming, just my experience and thoughts on the Shadow PC. I decided to try Shadow PC after upgrading everything in my PC except my graphics card, which struggled when trying to stream Destiny 2 on a single PC setup. I wanted to just try a month, but ended up locking myself in for a year at $12.99 a month. Normally it's $24.99, but there is a promotion going on right now for the first 8,000 subscribers. They also offer a month-to-month -month plan at $34.99. From some of the documentation, it looks like the idea is that these are starting plans, but they are the only ones that I saw available at the time. They also sell a device to connect to your TV for $100, but I believe the Steam Box may be a better deal because if you decide not to stick with your Shadow PC, you aren't stuck with a piece of hardware that you can't use, and the Steam Box is frequently on sale at a cost of about $15 with shipping. When you subscribe to Shadow PC, you'll have your own personal desktop system with a 2.5GHz Intel Xeon 8-core processor, either NVIDIA 1080 or Quadro P5000, I have the P5000, and 256 gigs worth of storage space. To be honest, the specs are a bit disappointing as games are constantly taking more and more hard drive space. Black Ops 4 uses over 160 gigs and Destiny 2 is at least 100 gigs. Also, the video cards that are being used are about 4 years old, which is ancient in technology terms. Granted, they are newer than my GTX 970, but I wonder how they will hold up against next year's beefier titles such as Cyberpunk, which is being built with ray chasing in mind. Also, for those interested in 4K, these cars can handle 4K, but they aren't the best at max settings. My hope is that the Shadow PCs are updated regularly to reach the bar as the bar is constantly being raised and those updates where the value of Shadow PC will shine, but I'll have to keep an eye out on that and let you know. As far as performance goes, it's pretty good. There should be some images on the screen that show what my connection speed was at. I do have an uncapped internet connection so I don't have to worry about reaching a limit and getting my speed slowed down. I was able to put both Destiny 2 and Hellblade at the maximum video settings and stream without any game breaking issues. In Hellblade, where parrying attacks is important, I was able to parry attacks with no noticeable latency issues. I actually surprised myself at how responsive the timing was for the key presses. I installed the Shadow PC app on my 2010 MacBook Pro and iPhone 7, and while I didn't have a controller hooked up to the iPhone, I was able to travel to planets and turn the camera by using the touchscreen. It ran smooth and looked great. There is a controller made to connect to phones, but I'm not that dedicated yet. On my MacBook, which has old hardware, it also ran exceptionally well. I didn't plug a mouse in, but I was able to run around, jump, shoot, and kill an enemy with the touchpad and keyboard controls. I posted the videos and screenshots to those to my Twitter account at DeathMonkeyXL if you guys are interested in taking a look at how it handled. Overall, I'm impressed with how Shadow PC works and the idea of cloud gaming. I believe that it's a great supplement to have for taking your home system on the go, but I wouldn't recommend jumping on the wagon just yet until we can see how hardware updates are implemented. If you feel like you still want to try it out, I do have a referral code up on the screen that will save you $5 and also benefits me by giving me $15 toward the Shadow PC sub. And if you already tried Shadow PC, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of men? The shadow knows. <laughs>